Hey guys, it's Reese, and um, today, today a lot of things are happening. I am in Wisconsin currently, and I'm going to be going to Minnesota today, and I'm gonna be going to like the Mall of America for a little bit, and then I'm going to go see Ariana again on the sweetener. Thank you, Next World Tour. I'm going with my cousins, who if you have watched all my videos, you've met them before. If not, I'll link down below some of the videos they've been in if you like wanna see more of them. I've already been interrupted. I'm so sorry. So what I was thinking I would do is I was kind of going to do like a mini get ready with me because people ask me a lot about like my makeup routine and skin and stuff like that. So I thought I would just kind of go through it with you. As you can see, I already started. I'm obviously really good at doing this beauty guru stuff. I know nothing about makeup. I don't watch any beauty gurus. I literally know nothing. Everything that I do makeup wise is all self-taught. So um, if I do anything wrong, just please don't come for me. That's like how I do my makeup. So first, I start with my eyeshadow, which I know most people don't do, but that's basically because I have like no routine when it comes to anything about my eyes. So I just do my eyes first so I can like get it over with. So today I'm doing like a really basic eye look. Used modern Renaissance Anastasia, but Anastasia, I don't even know how you say it, Beverly Hills. And then I used the shade um, Vermeer. I don't know if that's how you say it. It's like this pretty, just silver. And I put it on the corners of my eyes. And then on the outsides of my eyes, I'm gonna use um, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, which I've had forever. Um, and I'm going to be doing just pink on the outside because I cannot believe today, my I, I, almost every single day of my life, my eyeshadow has to match my outfit. And what I'm doing today is I'm wearing two outfits. So I'm wearing this outfit, you really cannot see it, to the mall. And then I'm changing into my tour outfit, which is pink. And so I'm just gonna do a pink look for to like match that one because I didn't really feel like doing yellow eyeshadow 99% of the time my eyeshadow will match my outfit I don't know if I'm doing this correctly I'm just kind of like putting it on the outside I didn't want it to be like super aggressive since I'm wearing yellow but I think yellow and pink look nice together so whatever okay that looks nice that's literally it that's all I'm doing for my eyeshadow now I'm going to be taking um this Glossier Lid Star so I got this at the Glossier store on Melrose in LA and I never used Glossier before but I'd heard such good things about it and I love eyeshadow so I decided I would try out like this Lid Star stuff and I got this color which is um moon and then I got the really pale pink color and I can't remember what it's called but I think it's just because I'm so pale but you literally could not see it when I put it on my eyes it was like I was wearing nothing so i returned them and i got like glossy is the best return policy ever like i love them thank you so much but you literally could not see the pink it was like there was nothing on my eye and i was like this is not gonna work because they were like 20 dollars and i was like i'm not spending 20 dollars on something i'm never gonna use but this one i actually found that if i put it in the very corners of my eyes it's a really pretty shimmer like right in my corners of my eyes okay next up is a step that I do every single almost every single time I do my makeup I didn't used to do this but now it's kind of become a routine um my eyeliner um I probably can't do my eyeliner on camera because I'll literally freak out and mess up eyeliner is really tricky for me because for some reason my eyes water a lot so if I wear something that's not waterproof it will literally streak down my face I was using this Sephora one and it would it was really easy to apply but it would streak down my face if my eyes watered at all literally if you watched my Animal Kingdom Disney World vlog, this is the um, eyeliner I was wearing. And literally I'd been in, at Animal Kingdom for like five minutes and I went on one ride and it ruined my entire eye because my eyes started watering because it was going so fast. But I started using this one, which is the Sephora Waterproof Wink It. Uh, how do beauty groups do this? Anyways, this is also really easy to apply and it doesn't um, like run at all. So um, I'm gonna do my eyeliner and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Um, I did my eyeliner. Basically, my thing with eyeliner is the less you do, the less of a chance you have of messing up on it. So I just do like a pretty small wing and then I just only bring it in like maybe halfway across my eyelid and it just, it's a cute little wing and doesn't look too fancy, which is just what I wanted. Oh my God, it's really red over here because I messed up and I had to um, take it off and redo it. Okay, so next up is mascara. Look at how cute my little baby travel size is. So cute. All right, and there I did my other eye. This side is always way more difficult with me and it doesn't go on as nicely, um, which really irritates me because it definitely shows up in pictures too that like this eye, the lashes look so much better than this eye. This is basically the main part of my routine. The rest of this is really basic and boring and I don't know what I'm doing. So I am actually don't wear foundation. I just use like 
this Sephora brand concealer. I'm pretty lucky with my skin. It's not super bad, but I do have like breakouts in specific areas. So I'll just go and like cover them up um, with the concealer. I'll just use my blending sponge thingy magic and just, um, that's literally it. I mean, that's all I need. I know nothing about brows. I don't really care about my brows. I just fill them in with this powder. I don't even think it does anything. And then lastly for my lips, I'm not gonna do them right now because um, I'm not leaving for a couple hours. So that'd be kind of pointless to do my lips right now. But what I do need to do is I need to have my cousin Kate curl my hair because I straightened it last night. And I kind of just want it to be curled because it will look prettier then. So um, that's my makeup routine. I really hope you enjoyed. I don't know what I'm doing. Please don't judge how I do my makeup. But <laughs> now I look a little bit less crusty. So um, I'll see you probably when Kate's curling my hair. Hi, um, remember when I said I was gonna film when Kate was curling my hair? Yeah, I forgot to do that. But um, literally my cousin's a hairstylist. Here's my hair. If you remember from my last Ariana vlog, um, no cameras are allowed in the concert. So just now, like right before the concert, it's gonna switch over to like my phone quality, which is not as good, but I'm, we're gonna live with it. I'm gonna try and film with my camera at the mall, but I might get lazy and just film with my phone. So I think we're leaving in like an hour or so. And um, I don't know when I'm gonna film next. Hi, kitty. This is um, one of my grandma's cats. Crappy. I'm not gonna make any promises about when I'm gonna film next this time, and I will just see you when I see you. Look at the pretty lights. <laughs> Hi, we're at the mall, and I'm super embarrassed because I'm carrying my camera in front of my face in public. But to me. <laughs> oh my god, the mall is so cool. I love the Mall of America. Anyway, we're at the Mall of America, and I forgot to film at Hot Topic, but I got this really cute shirt with Steve and Robin on it, and um, yeah, I really, I don't need more shirts, but I got one anyway, and I'll check in with you later because I'm embarrassed. Okay. Uh, I just, <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. The Tim Hortons closed. I was just coming here to get my Tim Hortons, so the whole reason I came to this mall. The Tim Hortons is closed. Look at this. Oh my god. Someone tell me not to buy these because they're buy them. <laughs> I really want <laughs> Shut up. Do me... Yeah, do it again. <laughs> oh, no. We all out here. It's down to be their nails. Oh well. <laughs> I just spilled my water. Can you see us? <laughs> Absolutely not. The curtain's down and they're playing I Want You. Dancing to hold on. People that know me best. Oh, <laughs> 
all right hi guys um it's the next day sorry i totally dipped last night but the concert got out at like 11 and then we had to do our whole like two and a half hour drive back to wisconsin and i didn't get home until like 2 a.m so i just wasn't really in the mood to film anything and nothing was happening literally i was just in the car falling asleep so the show as always was amazing um it was fun to have a different perspective from the last time i went because Last time I went, if you've seen that vlog, I was like directly in very close in front of like the end of the the stage that like the part that goes out into the crowd. And this time I wasn't like as close to her, but I was right by the main stage. So I was able to enjoy the songs that were like sung on the main stage more than the ones that were like out on the, the like the catwalk runway thing. Some things that she had changed from the last time I went was she took Bloodline off the set list, which sucks because I love that song. She had some really cute pride visuals that um, she kept in during July, which are so cute. And I love them because they weren't there because I saw her in May last time. And then for the section where she does Dangerous Woman, Break Free, and No Tears Left to Cry, I believe, she usually wears that black dress, which is what she was wearing last time, but she didn't change. She just stayed in that orange outfit which i don't know what happened but she must not have had time to change but i noticed that to wrap this up i'll just do like a quick um haul of what i got like at the mall of america and then at the concert it's not much just be warned it's pretty underwhelming i seriously need to stop buying shirts like it's such a problem but i i saw this and i was like oh my god i have to get this so i guess they put out some new stranger things stuff since the season came out because the things were kind of spoilers i guess i don't know but i saw some new stuff at hot topic and i saw this shirt um i love this giant sticker on it so it's a polaroid picture of stephen robin at scoops ahoy and i just i can't that's so cute and then look at the back oh my god i just needed it I, I needed it and i had like a coupon because i spend way too much money there and i get like coupons and hot cash all the time and then really boring but uh, i guess since i was doing like makeup at the beginning of this video i would tell you makeup stuff that i got so i went to sephora and i've been wanting to try like different lip colors and do stuff with my, like lipstick but um i'm too scared to like spend a lot of money on expensive lip stuff so when i want to try new colors i just get really cheap stuff to see if i like it so i got like the sephora brand this color it's um i'm probably supposed to say the name that's what beauty gurus do right it's shade 119 um yeah i don't oh bubble bath um so i'm just gonna try this out i don't know i was kind of just test <laughs> why is it not focusing i was testing them in the store and this one was cute and it was only like 14 dollars or maybe less i think so i was like okay i'll just try this one out and then i also wanted a red and i saw this in the checkout and it was literally eight dollars and it's another sephora brand it's like their summer travel collection and it's like a red like actual lipstick this is more like a um i don't even know what to call it i guess it's called a lip stain i don't know the difference so that was cheap and i guess i'll just try out new lip colors and then at the concert i wasn't planning on getting anything because i had already been and i thought i had gotten everything that i thought was cute but um we had a lot of time before um the show when we got there and so my cousin brooke wanted to get a shirt so we got in the merch line and she got the one that says seven rings it has the seven rings on the front and i feel like that was new from the last time i had been but maybe i just didn't see it and then i decided to get this one because i kind of wanted it and then i saw it up close and i was like wait this is so cute it's like the sweetener thank you next one and then i mean on the back it has like the tour dates and stuff and the line actually took so long we missed all of social houses set and then like the first two songs that normani did but then we came out before normani finished and we got to see her do most of her songs i will be doing another ariana vlog because it won't be for a while don't worry because um i'm seeing her when she comes back to phoenix in december um fingers crossed that somehow the meet and greets get added back and i can meet her because that's that would just really be my dream but either way i am going so um i'm i'm really excited to get to see the sweetener tour one more time um and i just i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time bye